Hello and welcome back to Sonic Unleashed Part 21, and in this episode we'll be finishing out of that day. This is just a time trial mission. All we gotta do is survive for 50 seconds and make it to the goal ring. That's really? honestly one of the, the easier. The that's is... honestly one of the easier sections <laughs> of Adabat Day. We ought to be a fucking expert at this by now. <laughs> hey, we, Remember, hey, we actually, mm -hmm. uh, we actually got some extra time. Nice for us. Uh. Survive, Sonic. Survive. <laughs> Into the cannon. Dude. And extra time. Hey. We, hit, we, we, we didn't get hurt. Yeah. We uh, I want to know why we didn't get hurt. Because almost every other time that we'll encounter that particular enemy, if he fires, we get hurt. I missed the, I missed the extra time. Grab the extra time. Turn, very turn around. Slowly around. Yes, turn around. <laughs> then go. Damn it. Lightspeed dash, there! <laughs> Sonic, Whoosh! <laughs> Sonic turning around is like, You motherfucker, you. <laughs> Yay, we did it! Oh, Again, there. that's honestly one of the easier se uh, segments of Adabat Day. And uh, even then, I still I still ended up showing off that I'm still terrible at uh, daytime Sonic gameplay. What a rush! Mm. Alright, one more... Um, and, uh, yeah, the editor sucks, but the editor is past Gurdette, so you can blame past Gurdette. Now loading. Mm. Sweet. This foliage looks like crap, though. Yeah. At least oh, this goes up. Alright, new, new, sorry, shake it off. New course time. Now we have a new place where we can die repeatedly in order to learn the proper procedure to go through the map. And light speed dash, good. You'll notice that a that a large portion of the time the challenge missions are pretty much uh, are pretty much just you know extensions of uh, of level design that we've already played through. And heavily and automated maybe not too. Not even extensions; they're just you know flat out ripped from the original level and shortened. Well, that's because I they are they the original that. level. It's so... Well, I mean, look at how quick... Look at... Uh, Alright, well, now it's saving. And it has to load the... Hmm. Okay, so it saves... And then it loads the map again? Oh, no, it's got to load shit now. Yeah. Gotcha. No, it's over at the, sh the shallow waters. Hey, Teen Chai. I see you've collected some tablet fragments, you. <sighs> but you didn't remember to bring home my lottery tickets. Your lottery tickets are still at the store. You didn't send us out with enough rings to go buy them. God damn it, I'm trying to save gas. Alright, so yeah, we talked to Teen Chai in order, in order to get the planet tablet, and now we can do Adabat's boss, which is a rehash. <laughs> Can you guess which rehash it is, Mr. Cloud? <sighs> All right. So my among my choices are uh, uh, Tiny Tiger, the Gladiator. There is also uh, Bloodwing, and then the last is the two-headed giant from Crash Bandicoot Three. Hmm. I think it's going to be the two-headed giant. The two-headed giant. It wasn't actually a boss in Crash Three, though. It was just a normal enemy. It was just a normal enemy, just just like this boss is. This boss, although it has a boss health bar and a boss name, it's just a normal enemy. <laughs> well, mostly. Behold the Egg Lancer, which is a, which is a black reskin of the Egg Beetle. Yep, alright, running time, boss. Here we go. You little. You little! You mean this this egg lancer is just <laughs> a little more complicated? <laughs> yes, he actually has the ability to fade into the background, and, and the lasers, you know, uh, uh, per behave differently than they did during an egg beetle. But uh, literally, it's almost the exact same fight as aside from um, aside from the uh, interesting set piece. Right, higher difficulty, not a re not a complete rehash. Mm. 
Oh no! Eggman oh come on, I totally to almost Mountain. hit him there! Oh, I thought you were doomed! <sighs> Near Autonoma, what are you doing here? Damn it! They didn't let Fuck. me hit him there, despite the fact I was on his face. Face is the vulnerable place. It is. And you do have to successfully do this fix on segment in order, in order to uh, actually get this hit off. But you'll notice that that one hit took out about half of his fucking life. Of course, because you'll probably fail it like two or three times before you finally get it. And here we are, back at the start of the fight. Missiles are fun! He has his force field on, so I can't smack him here. The camera doesn't like me being uh, so close to him. Guys, please. <laughs> Sneezing is done. Uh, boss time. And we're doing this thing again! This sucks. We can't hit him. Ah, uh, no, I would not say that the Egg Lancer fight sucks. Mostly because, it, uh, mostly because thanks to the uh, the primer of the uh, egg beetle, this fight is actually really, uh, really quick and simple. So I don't really, I don't want to say that this fight actually sucks. I will say that this fight is not as uh, impressive as Eggman wants it to, wants us to think that it is. But it's you know, it doesn't suck per se. It's just you know, it's just not as inspiring as it's supposed to be. Right, because it feels like. It feels like you already have done it. It's just a, it's a Mostly foregone conclusion have. that this boss fight is going to be victorious. And right. quick time. And button pushing prompt sequence in order to inflict damage on the enemy. Boom! Behold. He has been made slated. You have pushed the buttons. Yay! And now Eggman is dead. Well, defeated. And I stand by that, by the way. The character fights in Heroes were significantly harder than the uh, Eggman fights in Unleashed. Mostly because the character battles in Heroes were not programmed well. But none of them were as hard as the Silver Boss fight from Sonic 06. But this is because the Silver Boss Either fight was not programmed well. Both of the silver boss fights laugh at these boss fights in Sonic Unleashed. Yeah. And Sonic Heroes. Yeah. What's wrong, buddy? This is the sixth this time we've done it. Sonic. Right. I'm just scared. Scared? It's just another old temple. It doesn't look like there's anyone around, either. That's... that's not what I mean. That's not... never mind. I'm fine. Let's go. Oh, is Chip starting to get his memory he? back? Uh, he has not gotten all of his memory back. He is, he's getting a, 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 faint sense of, a faint sense of dread of what's about to happen. Which makes sense, because what's about to happen is technically very terrible for him. See, he's on the mural up there. <laughs> what is he? Is, is it like the same shape and everything? Yeah. I mean, it's hard to tell when we're this far uh, this far back out, but uh, the earlier the earlier uh, establishing shot made it relatively clear that yeah, Chip's on this mural, and he is freaking out about it. Hence, why he decides to touch it. Whoa! Ominous vacuum cleaner! Luigi's Mansion 3 is a thing! I welcome your return. Who are you, Balling Boy Dave Sex Machina? Welcome to the galaxy! I am the messenger of day of light of rebirth! Ah, oh, screw you guys! Huh, I wonder what's going on in there. I bet it's cool. 
Not really. Oh yeah, now now I can see it. He's like, "Hey, oh. I am the Stone Guardian." I remember now, all of it. I killed those people. <laughs> Yay, the magma spear is gone. But we still have one more to go. Yup. My my real name is Light Gaia. I draw power from the day and light and guide the planet to its rebirth. Which is why I'm one one billionth the size of the planet. Sorry, one one hundred billionth the size of the planet. But Eggman broke the world apart himself. And, and that's why I look closer to Alvin the Chipmunk if he was given god powers and a license to kill by the British government. Or Lloyd's haircut. I didn't remember what I was supposed to do. All because this isn't the proper time of awakening. Time of awakening? Dark Gaia grows over millions of years. Then rises he is the, the most adorable harbinger I have ever seen in any story. Well, he's not actually the harbinger, to be perfectly honest. He is, uh, he is the aftermath. So you were asleep all this time? For millions of years? Yes, for ages and ages. And then everyone will die. Let's go get another Sunday, Sonic. Oh, here we go again. I like how used to it he's gotten. I it's thanks to you. Mm -hmm. Even at night when I'm like this, I'm still myself, not like all the other people we've seen. You must have been protecting me this whole time. Mm -mm. I haven't done anything, Sonic. You're the reason you haven't changed at all. You're too strong to lose your Yeah. Then why are you here, Chip? And the reason? Yeah. You never doubt yourself no matter what. You never give in to the night or the darkness inside your heart. It's in I me. Because I knew that. And it's in That's why you, I you Sonic. It's been so he lives in you. To see the world. I've lived here he lives in me. Day, I didn't know a thing about it. That it's so pretty, you know, it's the so part, good. it's the part of or you that so makes nice. you not want to get up so for work, or say screw you to the people so you hate. You me find my Sonny, Although there are benefits to that part of you. you. <laughs> Thank you, Sonic. And now Chip decides to be a douche like Navi. Yeah, I thought so. He's he's not gonna help us get the seventh Chaos Emerald. Yoink! We've already played Ocarina of Time. We don't need that shit anymore, Nav uh, a chip. My memory is back now, and well, from here on. Navi, God damn it! You will help me fight the King of Evil. There's no reason for you to come along, so I should just. Do I need a reason to want to help out a friend? And restore the planet. Thanks, Sonic. Ah, oh, Chip, you really had me going there, but you cannot escape, Mr. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. High five. And in the next part, we will start on Eggman Land. Oy. To the circle of friendship.